Hey everybody, welcome back to Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. And I'm your boy Rob, doing video number two, January 10th, 2024. It's about 6.11 p.m. now, Pacific Time. And uh, just got some Ebays today, a lot of the two Ebays. Wait a minute. Uh, I got four Ebays today, opened three of them. These two came in one, 86 tops. I'm not too happy about this little line here. I have to check the post. But got the Expos Leaders card of Andre Dawson. Base Andre Dawson from 86 because mine's really damaged. Um, picked up this Topps Magazine Andre Dawson. And that. There's from 1992. Never had this card, but I have seen it before. A little dated design, but that's a cool image of Andre. And it's neat. It's got the whole little right up about him there. So that's cool. Then one of these Flare Limited Editions from the 85. A little box set that you can get probably at one of the um, um, drug stores like CVS or Walgreens or something. It's number 8 of 44. That's a cool card. Never had this one. Ordered some more stuff from eBay today, some Andre Dawson stuff, and then a few other things. So hopefully in another week and a half, week, week and a half, we'll get some of that stuff in. Because um, I think most of the stuff I have ordered from eBay is... Um, mostly come in today. I might have one other thing out there right now aside from what I ordered today. But this is the one I was talking about yesterday. It's coming from by airmail par avion royal mail. Look at that people that's from the United Kingdom there in England. And that's uh they didn't even bother to put a return address on it. So that cost them five United Kingdom pounds or something like that. I don't know. So, that's got here really quick. I'm really, really, really surprised. Oh, uh, Queen Elizabeth there. See what their mail looks like with all that mail royal. They're stamping there. So, if you want to see how they do things over in England. This came from the South Midlands. And uh, some foundation there. All right, now this is a set of um, cards that I was talking about, I believe, yesterday in one of my videos. And I was talking about when I was showing you guys my um, Andre Dawson King B disc that I picked up. I was talking about how that is a product issued and showing you that from 2001 compared to like a 1909 or 1910 uh, Colgan disc and um, how those are product issues and then I showed you my T206 my Allen & Ginter 1887 card and uh, then some of those Ogden's British tobacco minis from 1908 and 1909 and as I was talking about those, I was saying that, you know, like in America, they pretty much stopped doing tobacco cards like in the 50s. I think it ended pretty much with the Red Man cards. And, uh, but like the kind and cigarettes pretty much stopped by World War II, I believe. But in England, they kept doing it right up until, I don't know, either it could still be, maybe they still do it to this day or maybe in the last 10 years, but I, I, I honestly don't know how these were distributed, so I could be wrong, but I know England did uh, tobacco issues a lot longer than here, and perhaps they still do. So these are some English minis, and I know that they this company, whatever it is, has a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of cards out there, and it's all different kinds of sports. And I think they do different sets. So this came in this little envelope. But there's nothing else in there. Alright. And uh, what's this? 
So I guess this is a pack stiffener. So they're using a stiffener to stiffen the tobacco cards, which normally would be a stiffener. So that looks like, like a Trivia Pursuit kind of card about cricket. So maybe trying to encourage me to be more of a cricket fan or something. Alright, so anyways, if you want to read that, that's interesting. Alright, these are score, not score baseball cards like we know. So this may not be a tobacco company. I don't know. I don't even know if they're official or not. But this little set is of baseball players. And it's some tobacco minis of some famous baseball players that they uh, come from England. So I'm just going to show them to you in the order that I got them. So here you go, um, Junk Wax Hero, right? And some of you guys. There's Carl Yastrzemski. So I tried looking this company up to find out about distribution and whether it's a legit or not. So there we go, that's number two of ten. They seem to be legit, but I can't really find any information out about them. So they're in no particular order, it seems. So we'll see if we got all ten of them. So there you go. So it's them in England printed up some cards. So this could be just like their version of Panini or something, just doing minis. Or maybe they actually came in a product. Uh, if anyone knows, yeah, you know, please leave a comment. Let me know. Um, sure like it if you guys did subscribe so you can keep up on my videos and see when, you know, I usually post multiple things a day. And if you got insomnia, you can always listen to my videos because I even put myself to sleep sometimes. <laughs> but um, I'll say it again. I do the kind of videos that I wanted to see because I wasn't seeing the kind of stuff I want. Yeah, you want to turn that down? I don't know why it's still going. Sorry, my wife just got up. She's got COVID right now, but had the heater going and it's been going on for like an hour. Anywho, um, so um, lost my train of thought there. Oh, it could be like their panini or something. I don't know, but. They still do make tobacco minis apparently there in England. And so this is a set of famous baseball players and they're super glossy so I don't think that they're bootleg, I'm not sure. Maybe they are just because they got logos but there he goes, Carl Shrimps card. So regardless of whether or not it is, these are really nice, they're super cool. And they're from uh, England so Great Britain. So there you go, Carl Yastrzemski. That is card number two. So we'll show him. Pause that. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it was like five bucks or something with, you know, like maybe ten, eleven dollars with international shipping, but it got here like in a week. So that's really nice. And I love tobacco minis, if you guys know. Watched any of my videos. So I'm happy to have that. So I'm going to set these in order so we can put these back in order. Then next, we've got a Babe Ruth. And look at those really nice looking cards. They're super glossy. You know, they just feel like a modern card. Just cut down, you know, like just smaller size. So it's not like trying to be like Alan and Ginter or Gypsy Queen or any of those. They're just if they're in basic stock, like Topps Flagship. And that appears to be number nine of ten. So let's let's read about old Babe Ruth here. New York Yankees champions of world sport, which I think was the name of the set. Yeah, right there. Pays affectionate tribute to the true legends, featuring only the most unforgettable sportsmen and sportswomen of all time. Here are the giants of golf, soccer. <laughs> Soccer, tennis, boxing, motor racing, baseball and gymnastics, basketball, hockey, cricket, and other top world sports. So yeah, I did see a lot of um, racing cards and um, um, like boxers and stuff like that. So there you go. That's going to be number 9 of 10, Mr. Babe Ruth.
got any energy in you? Does... Hi, everybody. Hey, look, it's my wife, Pam. <laughs> my beautiful, poor, sick wife. All right, we're looking at some food. Hang on a second. What? We don't need to do two bags. Okay. We've decided on what we're going to eat as far as vegetable-wise, people. All right, so Mr. Babe Ruth the Great. All right. We'll set him over here. Then next we got the great Jimmy Fox. Hey, his last name is you. Fox. Baby. So Mr. Jimmy Fox, one of the greats of all time. And my wife, the greatest of all time. She's the goat. And I'm the kid. But I'm not kidding this time around. That's a pretty cool image of old Jimmy Fox there. So, yeah, you know. So, um, like I was saying, go ahead and subscribe if, if you like to keep track of my stuff. Uh, a little off-center there. Uh, leave some comments. I'd sure like to know what anyone knows about these or thinks. I think it's pretty cool. And that looks to be card 6 of 10. 6. Alright, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, next we have Mr. Ralph Kiner. And really, I was just looking for one card out of this this set. I was about to order just a single, and then I looked at the full on set, and I was like, oh, it's almost as much just to get the whole set. So, get some pre war and some classic players and vintage players and. So we're Mr. Ralph Kiner for the Pirates. There you go, Mangini. That appears to be number four. And don't have a whole lot of him. Jolton Joe DiMaggio. All right, so Joe DiMaggio. And that is number seven of ten. Read about now, well, it's all the same stuff on the back, so it's not talking about Joe, it just has an image of him. All right, so Joe goes here. All right, what card do you anyone guesses? Let me know what you think the card that I'm looking for out of this set, the one that I was gonna buy. Larry Dolby with the little best wishes. Um, facsimile written on there. It's Larry Dolby of the Cleveland Indians. That is five of ten. Bobby Thompson. New York Giants. I believe it's 8 of 10. So we got 7, <coughs> 8, 9. <coughs> so 7, 8, 9 is why 10's afraid, right? Okay. All right, here you go. Uh, all you Pittsburgh fans, Clemente Collector, do you have this card? Not that I ever think you've ever seen one of my videos, but there you go. If I was a Clemente collector, I would like to have that. Legit or not, that's sweet. Mr. Roberto Clemente. And that appears to be the number one card of the set. Yep. Numero uno. The next card is... The Would have been, well, I'll just leave it at that. All right, we're going to move on to this one. My wife will like this card. Paper? Nope. It ain't over, baby. Until the fat lady sings. Yogi 
It's Yogi Bear. Like Yogi Bear. There's no boo boo here, but oh yeah, I guess. So anyways, Mr. Yogi Berra with the New York Yankees. Alright, that is three of ten. So let's see if we get a better image of old Yogi here. Alright, there you go folks, Yogi Bear. Sorry for the noise. Okay. Two a three. All right, and the cool card, boom. There's the goat right there. Mr. Tyrus Cobb, Ty Cobb. Huge fan of that, like this image of him. Love how he's got the split grip on the bat there. Mr. Ty Cobb for Mr. Ty Rob. So that's sweet. Any Ty Cobb's good Ty Cobb in my book. And that is number 10 of 10. Dag Nabbit. Yep, 10 of 10 Ty Cobb, Detroit Tigers. Alright, so hold on a second while I organize these. By the magic of television people, it's all disappeared. Alakazam. So if you were keeping count, you would know what I just learned, that we did get all 10 cards in this little set of these ones that they did for baseball, whatever year this was, uh, 2009. So 2009, Kaplan and Rossetti, 2009, set B1, 10 of 10. So if anyone... Please let me know if you know anything about Kaplan and Rossetti from England, Great Britain. Is this a legit company? Are these legit cards? How were they distributed? Or is it just like that Danica Patrick and Debbie Gibson I card that somebody's just making in their own house? But I mean, there's just tons of them out there. So, nevertheless, I mean, eh, even if it's bootleg, it's cool little set it'll present well on a little binder or something so um never do a little more research on it so number one roberto clemente number two kyle yastrzemski number three yogi bear yogi Berra. it's not over until it's over and then Mr. Ralph Kiner, it's nice that he made a set of all-time greats. As you know, these are all Hall of Famers. Larry Dolby. Cleveland. Jimmy Fox. Another great Jimmy Fox. Joe DiMaggio, that's a sharp-looking card different it doesn't have a regular background like the um, previous ones so it appears these ones are all real world backgrounds and then these so the first one to five are regular kind of backgrounds and then these are all like kind of t206 ish backgrounds joe dimaggio Got his brother's autograph, showed you that last week. Vince, Bobby Thompson, I think he's in the Hall of Fame. If, if there's a one that's not, that would be the one. Babe Ruth. Bringing up the rare, but always at the top. Ty Cobb. So nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Old style classic baseball cards. All right, so hey, you got to see something you most of you probably never seen before. I'd never seen them before, and a neat little set, pretty cheap, from England. Let's see if we, anyone knows what this is all about. And you got to hear from a wife, so that's always a bonus. 
and um hey so let's go ahead and wrap that up if I come back later then i'll do some stadium club see what kind of garbage this is and um once again from the royal mail and also to everybody once again thank you for watching the videos I'm Rob saying goodbye for now from old style classics baseball cards. Later.